You're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using autographic projection. At the end of the video, I'll be showing how to produce this in both first angle and in third angle projection. Is that okay? Now, I have reproduced the figure on my drawing sheet just to enhance your understanding, right? So when you hear the word orthographic projection, the first thing you have to do is to need to draw your orthographic axis, right? You draw your vertical line this way. Draw your vertical line this way, right? And also you draw your horizontal line this way. Hope you can see that now you measure from the center where they meet you measure five millimeter up and you measure five millimeter down you measure five millimeter to the right and also five millimeter to the left can you see that and you draw your line vertically up That. Now, the arrow you can see it says we should draw the third angle projection of this given figure here, right? Let's see the third angle projection of this given what figure. Now, looking at the distance t from here, all good now. Looking from this side, t. So, what will you do first of all is you will just, if I project from here, what will I see looking from the side? So what I will see is this. Now, this is what you will see. Look at this from this side, you will see all this, right? You see this thickness you see here, from here to here. Let's call it 1. And this is 1 here. Now, you see this hidden line, because looking it through here, they are showing that there's, a, there's something in between here. So you cannot see it from here, looking from here. That's why we are using hidden line at this point here. You see 2 and 3, which is 2 and 3. Right? You see this shape here, which is this shape here. Right? And this top here, you will see that the straight line, because you are looking at it perpendicularly from the side. You see them on the plane. This is what you will see. You cannot see the top, you cannot see the side, only just the front, looking at it directly, perpendicularly from the side. So this is what you are going to draw here. Right? You are not to draw this. I'm using this to explain to you. If I want to do that, I'll just measure the distance of 60 on my metal rule, which I know is from here to here. Right? And I'll place it at this end here. This is third angle production. I'll mark it here. Right? And the height, which is given from here to here, right? The height is given from here to here, which is, I'll place it at the same edge here. I'll mark it here this way. Can you see that? Then I'm going to close that up. Let me enlarge it a little bit so you see what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to close that up this way with my instrument. To bring this down, right? And I'll close it up. This way. Can you see that? I can easily thicken it to save our time. The only thicken line we are sure the extent of that line. And also the two of thicken it here. And also the two of thicken it here. Can you see that? Now the same thing next one is the thickness from here to here. You see here is number one here. Which is at the base here, I'm taking it to. I'm going to close that up. Alright, and also the thickness from here to here, also it. Can you see that? Then I'll come here, I'll take in it 8 millimeter, and also 8 millimeter. 
yang waktu kita bung ya it dan bung ya it can you see that now the next one is the distance from here to the center here let's see from this point to the center here if you can look on the diagram it's 30 so I'll just come from here this edge here i'll mark 30 right i mark the 30 now i can just take it out this way faint line first i have my reason so let's take it faint line first now you take your meter rule since the you see is 10 millimeter apart right is what you can see from the figure there telling you that this thing you see here from here to s10 from here to s10 from here to s10 so what i will do is i will just measure the 10 that is 5 millimeter a piece from zero this is five millimeter here this is another five millimeter making 10 right and i'll just use my meter rule and i'll take it downward this way hidden line to show that hidden feature right so this is what we have there now the next one is this you see here which is this so from the height from here which is this base here to this point here is given to be what 15 is given to be what 12 so i'm going to measure 12 upward all together to get to the center of that figure so if i from here from zero to what to 12 so I'll just draw a line, faint line this way. Then the thickness is 10. So I'll take my meter rule, place it this way. Right? I'll measure 5 upward and 5 downward. Then here also, the height here from here to here is going to be 11. If you look for the figure closely. So I'll measure 11. I mean, give it to be 22. So I'll measure 11 to the left and also 11 to the right. Right? So what I'll just do is I can just bring it down vertically like this. And here also vertically like this. So that I can easily draw this, which is ticking. Can draw this, which is ticking. Then I'll bring it down. This way, and also bring it down this way. So, this is what we have here. We have successfully reproduced the figure here. Now, the next thing is we have to draw the elevation, right? Looking from the side x. So, what I'll do is I'm going to project it. The elevation is always at the side of the, the side elevation at the side of the front elevation. So, meaning that you're looking at it from this side. So, looking at it from this side, what will you see? Now let's see what we are going to see. So this is what we are going to see looking at it from this side. Right? That's what we are going to see. So you see all this side here, right? Which is all this side that I am drawing out. Can you see that? Now, but I cannot see this side from this side that's why i'm using hidden line to represent it i cannot see this and this from this side because you see it is clear that i'm using hidden line to represent this thickness going through and this one too from here to here is that again you cannot see the top you can't see here you can't see here you cannot even see it because you're only looking from this direction here so that's what i'm going to produce here so i'll just take this to this side draw this right and the thickness is given to be uh we have 38 from here to here is 30 then plus 8 that's it which is from here to here right and i'll place it here i'll mark 38 so I'll just close it up i'll just close it up I'll just close it up from here Place that and this will give me the other one here, right? 
Now we know this is going to be it from here to here. Can you see that? Now come from here to here. I mark it. Which I am going to take it from here. So down here. Now take it from here. Here. Then this will be heading line going up. This way. Right, and this will be taken also from here, as you can see from the figure there. Then here will be hidden line. Then here will be taken. Right, then I'll draw my line from here to this point here. Right, and also this. From here, it's coming here, so it will be hidden. And this from here is coming here. So these cores are connected, right? Then the next one is to get to that point where that guy is, is 15. Can you see that? It's what 15. So I am going to measure 15 on my metal rule, right? This is 15 here from zero. To 15 then I'll place it from the end here right from here I'll measure what 15 can you see that that is where it will be from that 15 now I'm gonna measure and um, since it's 10 I'm gonna measure 5 5 to both sides so 5 5 to both sides this is 5 and this is 5 so I'll just take it hidden line downward to mean that for me to extend for me to extend can you see that now the next thing is the plan looking at it from the top right what will you see This is what we have here. Looking at it from the top, right? You'll be seeing this, which is this. You'll be seeing from here to here, which is two, and you'll be seeing it too. You'll be seeing here, which is this and this. You'll be seeing here, which is this and this. Then this hidden line here, showing that this guy is going through. That's why I'm showing you hidden line, which you cannot see from the top. Then this guy here is this. I will take it up. So. After doing that, um, we'll move forward by replicating it this year. So how will you do that? Just watch closely. The plan is always on top of the elevation. Just like the side elevation is always on the front of, of the front elevation. So I'll just take my 45 degrees square and I'll project this this way. Then I'll take this edge to touch here. And I'll just from here. Take it this way. Can you see that? And now from here, I'll take it this way. Right? Now, I have brought this shape out. So I can easily take in it. Just like what you can see. Because if you see an inclined line as a straight line in the plan. So, so you are looking at it perpendicularly. So you see perpendicular inclined line as what? straight line this is what we have here right now look at this if i project this here it's coming here right can you see that if i project that guy there it's coming there so that will be um the thickness here i'm taking it now look at this also uh, what else again? This is coming up. Straight line. So I'm taking it. This also is coming up. Straight line. I'm taking it. Can you see that? So if I should project this end to this way, and this end to this way, so and I'm coming here like this. 
you know, coming here like this. So what do you notice? This is what I'm projecting, which is this is it here, right? So I'm going to take it up. When I'm taking it up, it will be here. I think I've got here, I'm taking it up. It will also be here. And I'll close this up. And I'll close this up. Why this you see here is the hidden line, which is here. And here too. Hope you can see that. That is what we have. So we'll successfully reproduce this figure in autocad projection using third angle. So if you want it in first angle projection, right? These two you see here will be on top. Why this one will be what down? This will be here, but it will be that the angle will be 45 degree in this direction. All together. So if you have found this video helpful, please forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.